Jesus, how did he literally save Christianity? Explain to me. Try, Susanna, I'm going to get you to try. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult, okay? Try, <laughs> try, try to steal Manhattan. How did Donald Trump literally save Christianity? Um, Because he's coming after the far left. Avi. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 you didn't listen to me. Steal, like, don't ridicule him. Steal Manhattan if you can. Mm. I know um, I, I said it's difficult. Um, it's so difficult, especially coming from his own like personal behavior and um. So he holds a lot of um, prayer events at the White House. You know, there was a no, no, no. <laughs> literally save Christianity. Literally save Christianity. <sighs> Okay, so you can't say like he prom promoted Christianity. Yeah, okay, he did a lot of good things for Christians, like the judges and blah, 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 and, you know, uh, Christianity. I, I is don't more... think mm. I can steal, man, the emphasis on, I, on the emphasis on literally. I don't think I can say. steal, man, that. Anybody in the live chat, give it a shot. Literally save Christianity. Like, without, <clears throat> without Trump, it would be like, Okay, literally save Christianity. What does that mean? Does that mean like without Trump, it, the Christianity would be over? Like, is that what it means? I I I think <laughs> the, what yeah, he's implying is <laughs> Hussein is saying Trump saved Christianity because he's the Antichrist, thus proving Christianity true. Yeah. I, that's an interesting working theory um, or hypothesis. Um, so I okay, if I w was a Christian, I would be super offended by this. Um, maybe it's my, I come from a strictly Catholic background. I know evangelicals, I don't fully understand what's going on over there. <laughs> but for Catholicism, we're taught that strictly all things happen through Jesus Christ. So even with Catholics do pray to saints, right? Um, saints are only able to intercede on behalf of Christ and the Holy Spirit. Hmm. So even while praying to saints, hashtag shirk, um, <laughs> like we, it's still only possible through the intercession of Christ. Um, so the idea that he is literally saving Christianity seems super blasphemous to me. If I mm. was a believer, I would be like, Christianity d would never need saving by a man. Hmm. Are you Jeez. kidding me? Like, we have Christ. Things happen through Christ. Our salvation is through Christ. So why would we ever need a man to save Christianity? Yeah. And maybe, okay, so let's just be charitable to him because, may, first of all, maybe he just says Christianity in the United States, okay? Because if he meant Christianity just period, then it would be such a, it would be even more ridiculous than, I mean, Christianity. Like, these people have such an American-centric point of view. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, save Christianity. Like, you're not even the most Christian country. Um, but they thought, like, because, like some churches... Christianity, okay, so here's how Christianity was under attack, okay? Mm -hmm. Some people don't say Merry Christmas anymore, and which they translate to, you literally cannot say Merry Christmas under Obama. Oh, right? yeah, Candace Owens L said that. You just literally were not able to. Like, if you, you, if you just, you can't. Like, if you, you said can't. Merry Christmas, the FBI would show up. And they will just like take you to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, Gustavo. And, <laughs> and, and basically that would be the end of you, okay? They were just like, the, the Obama had like a sniper team just like looking for people to just Merry Christmas, poof, taking, taking people out. That's, that's, that was the state of the United States under Obama, okay? And he himself, Obama himself never said Merry Christmas, by the way, okay? Go, there's, go check it out. There's really zero, zero record of Obama himself coming out and saying Merry Christmas to people, okay? That, ne that never happened, okay? If you actually show me a video of him literally saying Merry Christmas to people, that is just, you know. Deep fake. Deep fake. That's deep fake, right? Um, so, yeah, you, saying Merry Christmas was completely banned. Mm -hmm. And now because of COVID... They're telling you, 
that dude listen this, in a in a closed environment having people gather together that's not a good idea okay yeah. That's, it's yeah. dangerous yeah atheism confirm these are just these, <laughs> these, these people are just anti-christian atheists that are just in it for the democratic party just wants to end christianity right oh, it's not about you, it's not at all it's not about it's not at all about spreading disease in closed places no it's not about that okay this this whole COVID thing oh the beer bug this whole thing okay it was the democratic party and the and the ccp uh they got together and were like you know what you guys you guys have done such a good job in closing churches and mosques well churches we like the churches part right mm -hmm, we're mm -hmm. trying to we're trying to end christianity in the united states as well can you just spread this virus somehow so we have an excuse to end the church i i don't understand they keep comparing it to um bar like they think they're so smart like oh liquor stores are open but churches are not where are your priorities oh look at they put the alcohol before you goddamn morons how many people show up in a liquor store do people like what do what do you think happens in a liquor store do you think like 50 people sit next to each other just like for for two hours waiting for their for their going well and a big part of it is like well, there's multiple things. So also in California or states where marijuana is legalized, they're also upset that marijuana stores are uh, open as well. They're considered essential businesses. Um, what a lot of people don't understand is, well, one, those marijuana stores are primarily open because a lot of people use that as medicine and they have medical um, uh, exemptions or whatever for that. And um, then with the liquor stores, from what I understand why they're still open is because um, if someone is a chronic alcoholic and suddenly they're cut off from their alcohol, um, they can go into shock. Um, if you are a severe enough alcoholic, you can start to have seizures and um, from the withdrawals, the, the shock of the withdrawals and it can send you to seizures and those seizures can kill you. Obviously when our hospitals are already, um, dealing with so much that's the last thing that they want to deal with so that's one reason why liquor stores may still be open um it's more about people's health but then th yeah you're right that's like not a very good reason as to complain about why those are still open because one of the primary reasons why um maybe i shouldn't say primary one main reason why um uh places of worship are not allowed right now is because there are things that are specific to places of worship that are particularly risky for covid one of them being singing singing is a way obviously where your respiratory molecules are going to go flying throughout the environment especially in a closed environment and also i know that a lot of restrictions have lifted at this point and people are doing a lot of outdoor worship nowadays um in safer ways so i like how these people think like churches are essential services like how like how not even your bible says that but go on so literally in my neighborhood um they there's been a campaign to quote free the mass so the catholics in my um area have been starting petitions to free the mass because matt yeah it, it's it's in chains and um they had big posters outside the church that i walked by to get coffee um that was talking about freeing the mass and how it is essential and all this stuff whereas uh, well depending on your theology the actual importance of being in the physical place of worship does vary um but you know the bible also talks about the importance of just having a personal relationship with god depends on your doctrine idiot look at, look at this idiot salute to trump he opened the Christian. He opened the Christianity. He opened the Christianity because it was closed. The, <laughs> it was the, the, the Christianity was closed, bro. <laughs> the, <laughs> um, okay, but here's the thing: even if like bars or all these other places were not essential services, okay, at some point you need to slowly open these businesses, or else the, your econ the economy is just gonna like people like you need to start businesses need to open, or else people are just not gonna be able to pay for food or anything, right? And when you open, you know, the businesses, you have to start with the ones that 
preferably does not involve people mass gathering in close spaces, right? Mm -hmm. So people are like, oh, I mean, so you're like, how could this be essential service? How could that be essential service? You need to open businesses at some point, right? And we're not going to start with, they shouldn't start with your churches. It should be the last thing that gets open. You couldn't steal man, Eric? Well, that's also, I'm not, I'm not ever going to be as good at as it as you. I'm going to steal man, him. I'm not going to steal Manhem and I'm going to be convincing. Like, it's not going to be like, okay, yeah, Armin, fine, but obviously that's not, you know, I'm going to actually convince you that what he said was smart. Mm. Yeah. So as dumb as we all thought he was right now, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to steal Manhem and you're all going to be, a lot of you are going to be convinced. Okay. So the reason why he said that is because he knows that Republicans are morons and they have a lot of Christian fundamentalists who the only way to get their vote is to scare the crap out of them and make them feel like Christianity is uh, like Christianity will is under attack and the only way to save it is through Trump. Right? So he understands and they are like really down at the polls. Okay? They are double digit now behind Biden and you need some fear mongering. You need to be like, you need to keep reminding people what's at stake. You need to, and you know that this is a tactic that works. Like guys, this is not about politics. This is not, this is about saving Christianity. Okay. And to be honest, that is that, that does work. Yeah. 